Hey everyone and welcome to the Chupesa Vuelta a España stage 4. So first stage 3, uh, the last stage which was between Albacete and Valencia. Uh, again we have a rough description of the route, we have the route itself over here. Um, I think I had, when I put it in I thought we'd go around here but we went like sort of east and then north. Um, get the profile of the stage with all the rounds. And yeah, so we can see who all won. As it turns out, I actually did pick up the win on the intermediate sprint and nothing else. As for the stage classification, uh, I'm in 13th. Uh, I did end up getting a retime on the one round where my browser crashed, but even then, it's not enough to quite get me up back uh, to a, as good a time as I would have liked. Um, although, to be fair, I did have some slow rounds overall. Um, in the general classification, we ended up losing, I think, one or two spots because of those 19 minutes which means we do have a bit of an uphill battle right now uh younger classification does not apply to me so the points classification where are uh m my immediate sprint uh, first place next me 10 points getting to eighth spot on this um ahead of a few others behind a few more uh but yeah it's it's good. Uh, Mr. Blue, myself, and Jackie S all on the same team, and we've all scored some points for the team as well. I, I, although I don't think we've actually counted. We didn't earn any more on the mountain classification, but we still have the six points from last stage. Not last stage. Uh, two stages prior. And on the team classification, we extend our lead by another two minutes, I believe. I think it was like 11 minutes something uh, last stage. Uh, now we're up to 1341. Um, that's the lead we have, which is good. So anyways, this stage we have the time trial. Uh, uh, the time trial in the Gale of the Italia was one of my favorite stages. I didn't particularly like the um, time trial in the Pro de France, mainly because of the removal of the route um beforehand um if, if you don't know in the gear of the italia uh we had the route for the stage provided to us bef beforehand but for the tour de france we did not and to be honest i preferred the one where we had the route beforehand because oops okay uh Barcelona and the races from the Bridge and somewhere in Barcelona. Uh, this week is passing some of the most responsive places of the Catalan capital, and a hilly session will certainly be the decisive factor between the time trial specialists and the climbers. Okay. Uh oh uh yeah so so I had to pause the recording in between uh which means I have lost my train of thought in previous thing. But yeah, uh this time trial is gonna be a shorter race between El Prato and York Regat, which is this neighborhood here. And somewhere in Barcelona, we know that we're gonna be passing by some of the iconic locations in there. So my guess is are that we we might have Camp No. I don't actually know what this Casa Mila is, but we might have that. La Sagrada Familia, which is of course well known. Uh, I know this district, the Isompla district, I don't know how you pronounce that, but I, I know that one's very well known in Barcelona, um, if you don't know. Uh, yeah, it's it just has these uh, mega grid layouts 
um, which are really nice. Other than that, we have them this place which is more shoes or something like that. Uh, I I don't exactly know how Catalan Catalan works. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a few of these birds from here. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I, I don't actually know what to expect out of this, but we might see some of those. We might have signs for the airport. We might have some locations within the area, but we'll see about that. Now this is going to be a really rapid round, uh, rapid stage, in fact, that's what the time travel is all about. We can go straight into that. We have a, uh, this uh, profile for the stage, you can see that a bit of hill over there, which we might have one round of. My guess for that is, why did I close the... Yeah, great. Go back in. So I, I have a feeling the hilly bit is either going to be this area near Mod Shoes or let's see, we have a terrain now. Uh or we'd be going around over here from this side near Camp No, which also makes sense. We'll have to see about that. Uh, yeah. Now we don't have any mountain classifications. We don't have any extra uh, points for the most forward um, location of the round. Nothing special like that. It's one point for the winners of each round. And for the stage of the whole, we have the round. Let's hop straight into this. And well, here we go. Okay, we're in this room. Uh, okay, it says more shoes. That's uh, something more shoes. Uh, don't know which one exactly that is. We're on like an east westish road that starts going north. Uh, yeah, Mm. Here's Olympic wrestling. Okay, that one makes sense. Uh, we do have this, which might actually be this. Is this a one way room? Yeah, CPRA. This would go directly west. I think that's it. And that's 5k, one meter. Probably could have guessed a bit earlier, but I wasn't 100% sure. But yeah, that works sort of confirms it. And yeah, the name of the work too. Next round. Okay, this looks like Camp No. This to the east. So Camp No is right there. So in theory, we'd be somewhere around here. Uh, we're looking to the north, which is probably that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I could probably be faster, but I want to play them a bit safe, I guess. Okay. Third round. That is up. Dona Franca port. Okay, the port is nearby, which is here. Big roundabout. I think we. Uh, D A L port. 
I'm guessing that's just one of these, but... No, but we're in... Slightly north east. Oh, cut that out. Oh, there we go. Let me fuck it. Definitely could have been faster than that, but. Oh, okay, Zona Franklin so it's really far, but I didn't notice that. Oh well. Sagrada Familia. There we go. Okay, and last round. Yep. The other place on the iPhone play, Captain Mila. And that is to the northeast, so... There we go, okay. 80 meters for that story. Works. And yeah, okay, 3 minutes 47 seconds, which... That's actually the fastest perfect score until now. Am I right? Oh, I might actually lose some time on this. 3 meters, 15 seconds. That's going to put me... Oh my... Okay, that's going to put me in second place. Because this thing... Uh, this message here says... You can get a 5k from a greater distance. And I think that's not going to make a difference here because it doesn't matter what score you get. It's the distance on each round. That 18 meters. Uh, not this round. Uh, I saw him go. There we go. This one. I need to be over there because I clicked over there. That's 18 meters. That's 3 meters over. That's going to be a 15 second penalty. Oh, that's unfortunate. I... I probably could have been more careful with that twin die. Uh hmm. Yeah. In any case, I, I might be able to pick up some other points. Uh I'm not the fast one on that. I'm not the fast one on this. I'm not the fast one on this either. But this one, around four, I was really quick. Nine seconds, which appears to be the fastest. And even on the one after that. With my 15 second penalty, I'll still be 31 seconds, which is the fastest. So yeah, I think round 3 that's gonna... hurt me there. Hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah. Uh, it, it's still a much better than the one in my save, but... I'm gonna have to go with it. So yeah, anyway. Thank you all for watching. Uh... Looks like we'll be... Second place on the stage, unless uh, I don't know how this bit's gonna look, but we'll see about that. And yeah, I'll see you all for stage five.